You know the feeling of frustration you get when your trading strategy is no longer working, you're taking a loss after loss and you simply start losing hope in trading. The most common reason why this keeps happening is because your strategy lacks a good volume indicator in place that would eliminate the majority of those losses your confirmation indicators give you. So in this video I will give you top 3 super powerful volume indicators you can start using right now to increase the win rate of almost any strategy up to 70 or even 80%. But before we start make sure you pay close attention to everything I'm about to show you in this video so that you don't miss any important takeaways. Ok without further ado let's get into it. Alright on the third place we've got a really powerful and unique indicator which is called heat map volume. Heat map volume by XDE Cow, make sure you add it to your collection. This tool can be really handy for those who want to eliminate as many losses as possible. The indicator basically colors the volume bars and the candles according to the volume traded. I shared multiple strategies on this channel with this indicator and they all turned out to be successful. If we access the indicator settings we can see that it consists of 4 different volume thresholds. You can change the parameters as you wish. I personally like to decrease the high volume threshold from 2.5 to 1.5 and the medium volume threshold from 1 to 0.5. We also see that the extra high volume is coloured in red, the high volume is coloured in orange, the medium in yellow and the normal in sky blue. Based on these parameters, it's recommended to enter the market only when the volume is medium or above. This basically helps us avoid taking trades when the market is moving sideways. We see that the volume increases every time the big players step in into the market. In this example we can see that once the price action broke above this level of resistance, the volume increased from normal to high. So this is a strong indication that the bulls stepped into the market. Also notice that after a big move the volume usually decreases. And these are exactly the times when we don't want to be entering the market. But once the price action broke above this level of resistance, we see the market started trending again. Obviously you can't be entering the market solely based on this indicator. This is just a confirmation tool that tells you when is the best time to enter the trade regarding to the volume traded in the market. So let's for example add a QQE mod and the whole suite indicator to the chart. And the rules for this strategy are simple. You can only be taking long trades when the price action is trading above the whole sweet line and the line is green color. The QQE mod has to print a blue histogram and the volume has to be colored in red, orange or yellow. Exactly opposite is true for short positions. First, the price action is closed below the whole sweet line and the line is red color. The QQE mod issues a new bearish signal and the volume in the market is above normal. So I highly recommend this indicator, go ahead and test it out on different markets and different timeframes and see if you can find a good strategy with it. Ok, on the second place we've got a really interesting indicator you've probably never seen before and it's called Volume Profile by Lux Algo. This indicator right here. This indicator displays the estimate of a volume profile with the option to show a rolling point of control. Users can change the look back, row size and various visual aspects of the volume profile. It's very common to display volume over time in order to visualize the trading activity made over a specific candle. However, this is not the only way to display volume and it can be interesting to put it in relation with the price, which is what volume profiles do. Volume profiles are displayed as price relative histograms showing the accumulated volume within certain price areas. The number of areas are determined by the row size of the volume profile. Knowing which prices area accumulated the most volume allow highlighting areas of interest to market potential. Participants. Most accumulated volume will be encountered in zones of equilibrium between buyers and sellers. These zones are highlighted by high volume nodes in the volume profile. Imbalance between buyers and sellers are highlighted by thinner zones of the volume profile. The price level with the most accumulated volume is highlighted by the point of control. 
The point of control is often considered an important level commonly used as support and resistance by traders. Now let me show you some examples of how you would use this indicator. So for example, here you have a point of control and this is the price where the market participants are usually the most active. As we can see, the price action broke above this level, so this is a signal to take a long position. So if we had taken a long position right there, we see it could have resulted in a nice win. Also notice how well the price action bounced off this point of control. We see the point of control changes depending on the trading volume. We see the price action broke above it, which was a good confirmation for a long trade. The same happened right here. Here we see we've got a new point of control. And again, we have another breakout. With this indicator, you can get an idea of when the big players are entering the market. Obviously, it can't be used on its own. You need to add some more indicators to the chart to confirm the entry. I would definitely recommend adding a 200 EMA to eliminate fake signals. Notice that the price action broke below the point of control right here, which was a signal to go short. But since the price action is moving above the 200 EMA, this means we cannot take any short positions unless the price action crosses and closes below this 200 EMA. So yeah traders, go ahead and try this indicator out, and I'm sure you will find a really good strategy with it. Alright, we finally got to the indicator number 1, which is called Volume Spread for VSA. This indicator by Hari Prasad Gopal. Okay, so what are the main benefits of using this indicator? First, this is a non-lagging indicator. This means that by looking at this indicator, we can access the immediate data from the market in real time. Second, it's an indication of the activity of larger players in the market. Third, it identifies the strength of trends and when they're losing momentum. And fourth, changes in volume tends to lead to price changes. Unlike the regular volume, this indicator provides with different color candlesticks and the cloud. If we access its settings, we can see that the indicator does not have the input section. This means that we can only customize the style. So let's now understand how to use this indicator. First, notice when the price action starts moving sideways, the volume level decreases. Exactly opposite happens when the market starts trending. If the volume histogram breaks above the cloud and is colored in red, this indicates a high level of volume in the market. If the bar is colored in yellow, this indicates a medium level of volume. And if the histogram is colored in green or blue, this signals that the volume in the market is normal or below average. It's recommended to only take trades when the level of volume is above average or high. For example, here we can see a strong bullish candlestick and the volume in the market turned from average to high. This is a strong indication that the market is more likely to continue to go in the same direction. And we can see that this is exactly what happened. Okay, here is another example. We have a strong bearish candlestick and the volume became high. And we can see that this resulted in a continuation bearish trend. Here's another example. Here we have a strong engulfing bullish candlestick. And the volume level also became extremely high. Which signals a strong buying pressure. And this happens pretty much all the time. Notice how well this indicator predicted these price movements.
I certainly do not encourage using this indicator on its own. This is just a part of a trading system that helps you eliminate as many losses as possible. It definitely should be used in a combination with other indicators. Okay traders, I think that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you click the like button if you found it useful. By the way, if you're struggling to find some good indicators for your strategy, check out this playlist right here.